Coming up in the news, the Ministry of Tourism looking to diversify the tour offerings on island. Also, hear why BTC CEO says the company remains the country's top telecommunications company. And the Immigration Department taking another group of foreign nationals to court. The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, starts now. This is the Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Bahamas, I'm Shishino Will Parkinson. As always, it is so great to have you with us. Topping news this evening, the cruise ship market reopening on the island this past June 18th. The Royal Caribbean Cruise Line returning to Grand Bahama after some 15 months of inactivity. Tonight, the local Ministry of Tourism's general manager says that while this is good news, they're looking to diversify the tour offerings on the island. Grand Bahamas tourism numbers expected to continue to grow in the coming months. This with the return of cruise ships to the island. The Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas bringing in some 1,060 passengers during their first trip to the island. General Manager at the Ministry of Tourism, Stephen Johnson. What they're doing is they're trying to keep it uh, keep it at a minimum right now, but we do hope to uh, to get a little bit more people coming in on on the, the Royal Caribbean uh, cruise line um, into the Bahamas. And so we're really proud uh, what's going on for Grand Bahama. The second one, which is June 24th, uh, they had 1,014 visitors. And um, the main thing is to to make sure we have enough activities and tours available here. Um, in Grand Bahama for people to do because you, you've heard people talking about oh there's not a lot of things to do in Grand Bahama we like to dispel that notion Johnson says the tourism team is challenging Grand Bahamians to diversify what it is that the island has to offer and to be creative he says the goal is to entice tourists off of the ships and get them exploring from east to west so far Adventure of the Seas has called on Grand Bahama twice and Johnson says it's been so good so far it's been good, you know, because, um, you know, they, they're here in Grand Bahama. They're not in a bubble. They do have some curated tours that are exclusive to them. They've been going to the Garden of the Groves. Um, they've been doing the ATV tours and uh, 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 various different stuff. But we'd like, we'd like to get some things going, like we need the perfume factory open. Uh, we really need that open because um, that, that we, we think that offers a unique experience for persons to come and make their own fragrances, to tour the facility, and, uh, and so we need to jumpstart that. And uh, I had a talk with the owners, and I, I hope to follow up with them again just to see where they're at. But we do need to lively up some of the activities here on, on island. Johnson also announced that Grand Bahama can expect the arrival of another cruise ship in the month of July. We're excited uh, to announce uh, uh, July 25th, Crystal Cruises is coming into Grand Bahama. And um, this ship is coming in, the, uh, the demographics of it is a little bit older. They're uh, 65 plus, and so um, we're excited. We have a number of our tour companies are, 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 are gonna be utilized. And again, we're trying to get them to spread out throughout Grand Bahama. You have to understand, 86% of people come to Grand Bahama and the Bahamas in general for the beach. So they they really want to experience a beach product. And, uh, and we'll be trying to spread them out through the Port Lucaya area, the uh, Grand Bahama, the downtown uh, vendorship, with, uh, which is the fruit market and the, and the craft market. We like to get people involved throughout in the restaurants and et cetera, the various different beaches. And so we're really excited about uh, uh, about Crystal Cruise is coming in. We're just waiting for the announcement of, uh, of Carnival and the other uh, cruise lines to, to announce uh, their arrival here to, uh, to Grand Bahama. Megan Shepard, SNS Network News. Meantime, the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line is postponing Monday's CDC test cruise as well next month's restart. The company says a vaccinated crew member tested positive for COVID-19. In a statement, the company added that after confirming a crew member tested positive on board, the cruise line immediately implemented CDC COVID-19 protocols. Those measures included identifying and testing all close contacts of the crew person. Now, those who tested positive positive were placed in quarantine if asymptomatic and isolation if symptomatic. The CDC test cruise will now take place on July 8th. The restart is reset for July 10th. 
In other news, the Customs Department making business easier for clients on Grand Bahama. The department's click to clear system will be launched on this northern island in just a matter of days. The new platform requires those importing or exporting items to register online. Italia Hall has more. The Click to Clear platform was launched in New Providence in August of 2018. Since then, officials have been going from island to island to educate persons about the new platform that was created to make clearing items easier with the Customs Department. Customs Revenue Officer 2, Doyle Burrows Jr. says it took the department a while to move the platform to Grand Bahama, but come this Thursday, July 1st, it will be officially launched. Well, because of the unique situation here with the Hawksville Creek Agreement, but we've been we've been here in Grand Bahama since February and working with a number of officers here to make sure that we have fine-tuned the product that we have for Grand Bahama. So on Thursday, the 1st of July, we'll be bringing on the commercial airlines, okay? So all of the Bahamas Air, American Airlines, Silver Airlines, any person, any aircraft bringing on passengers will begin processing through click to clear and then we will roll out the remainder of the modules and portions. Now while the platform offers a company baggage declaration, Senior Customs Officer Rodney Lightborn says here in Grand Bahama, the focus will be on cargo. The click to clear system, the platform, to bring a, a more speedy process to allow goods to get to market. Uh, we expect more transparency in the clearance process, and we also expect to see a heightened level of compliance um, among all of its users. Borrow says Abaco and Bimini have been using the services that are being offered. The licensed broker, you don't have to actually be physically on the island. You can actually do business throughout the country once you are a licensed broker. So your client doesn't have to be in Grand Bahama. You can be in Grand Bahama and your client can be in San Salvador and you can still process their declaration. And Lightborn is encouraging everyone to register online. You, it only requires you to have your driver's license or your national insurance card or your passport. You can access our site through bahamascustoms.gov.bs and you will be able to click on the register icon and have yourself registered, registered because you will not be able to conduct business with the customs department unless you are registered to click declare. Italia Hall, ZNS Network News. Well, BTC's chief executive officer on Grand Bahama today sharing some of the company's initiatives to enhance its customer experience tonight. He also addresses what is being done about challenges like drop calls and experienced on the network. Be the premier telecommunications uh, provider in the country. BTC CEO Andre Foster says without a doubt, BTC remains the country's premier telecommunications provider. Uh, I, I always choose like you guys at ZNS. You say nothing covers the sun better other than the sun itself, right? ZNS, so we're, we're probably second to that. So we have great coverage across every part of the archipelago. He says this is why they remain at the cutting edge of technology to ensure top services for their customers. A part of their new rollout services is fixed mobile convergences. Fixed mobile convergence really allows our subscribers who have our fixed services to add mobile services at a very affordable price. Uh, so FMC is a very common thing that you'll see in uh, other countries where a lot of the operators are now bringing those services together. Along with adding a great value bundle, the CEO says they aggressively rolled out an uptick in fiber to the home. So the fiber to the home uh, uh, rollout throughout the Bahamas allows us to upgrade customers from our legacy copper network onto a new fiber network. Uh, that allows us to deliver amazing broadband speeds to homes. But even with these services, there are still challenges with drop calls in the BTC network. And we're always going to have some areas that may have either uh, a, uh, call it a dead zone because of coverage, or maybe it's a transition zone. Uh, and certainly when customers call us, they let us know where that's happening. And we put our teams on how, how we can, uh, put teams on it to engineer how we can cover uh, that dead zone or improve coverage in those areas. Foster adds that this is why BTC is 
constantly upgrading their network. And that is both a mobile investment, but also a fixed investment. Uh, so that fixed investment is what I mentioned, the fiber to the home. Uh, that's putting more fiber into our network so we can get connections to homes that are based on fiber. And as a bright product of that, we also enable our mobile network to perform better too. So what we see is as we deploy better fixed services, folks actually will use their uh, Wi-Fi at home rather than use their LTE. Uh, we've also had a lot of investment from an LTE perspective uh, in New Providence and Grand Bahama as we see congestion in the network, meaning that we have more subscribers in an area. You know, we, we expand that capacity. In news from the crime beat, the Immigration Department Freeport taking 20 foreign nationals to court, charging them with being in breach of the Immigration Act. Appearing before Magistrate Charlton Smith in Freeport Magistrate's Court No. 2, charged with illegal embarkation, 14 members of that group were interdicted, interdicted rather at sea by the United States Coast Guard officials in U.S. waters off West Palm Beach, Florida. They reportedly departed Grand Bahama on Wednesday, destined for the United States. They all pled guilty to the charge, were convicted in order to pay $300 or in default serve one month at the BDOCS. Now, three other members of the group were arrested in Freeport by immigration officers while on routine patrol. These defendants all pled guilty and were ordered to pay $300 or in default serve one month at the BDOCS. Three remaining Haitian migrants had two charges of illegal embarkation and misleading an immigration officer levied against them. They also pled guilty to the charges and on the charge of illegal embarkation, they were ordered to pay $300 or in default serve one month for the charge of misleading an immigration officer, Magistrate Smith cautioned and discharged them. Now 10 of the defendants were able to pay their fines immediately and were handed over to the Immigration Department who will effect their deportation to their country of origin. The others will also be deported upon payment of fines or upon completion of their default custodial sentences. Police on Grand Bahama are investigating an assault on a police officer and breach of emergency order. Reports are that shortly after 9 on Sunday night, a female officer while off duty observed several fights ongoing along with a large number of persons over the required number of occupants allowed in a local restaurant in the Mount Hope community. Upon attempting to speak with the owner, the officer was then assaulted by a male known to her who fled the area after committing the offense. Police assistance was requested, which resulted in the owner of the establishment being cited for various offenses regarding the breach of emergency orders in the amount of $11,400. Now, the search continues tonight for the suspect wanted for assaulting that female police officer. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this.